Good morning, Comstock High School. Today is Monday, March 25th, and this is Harry and Alex. And we're bringing you today's announcements. For today's lunches, there will be the choice of chicken Alfredo pasta, margarita flatbread, chicken nuggets, fajita style chicken, and deli turkey. Now I'm down to the weather. Good morning, morning Comstock. For tomorrow's weather, we're going to have a high of 44. And a low of 27. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys. A special happy birthday to April Camber and Isaiah Katie. And another special happy birthday to the birthdays over the weekend, which included Audrey Rabick, Aries Osuela, Austin Gross, and Terry Javon. Now, let's head over to the German word of the day. Okay, we are here with Tillman for today's German word of the day. Wir sind heute hier mit Mr. V. Oh, that is better than yesterday. Yeah, yesterday we screwed up. Yeah. Und wir sind heute hier, um euch das deutsche Wort des Tages zu präsentieren. And the word you had to find was... Say it! Aufzeigen! Aufzeigen! Very good! And that means to show. But that was very easy because I gave you the word on the screen. So, what I really wanted you to do to find the SAT word for Aufzeigen. So it means to show and then find an SAT word for to show. So you do well on your SAT. And the SAT word I was looking for is events. That means to show. So for your SAT, if you see events somewhere, remember that that means to show and a German outside. So, and to make sure that every one of you gets a lot of candy, please not just tell me what it means, tell me like an advanced word like events to get full candy. <laughs> and because I realized that not everyone um, knew how to really find the SAT word and I want that every one of you gets candy. I want to teach you today how to find the SAT word and Mr. Wee wants to explain you a word. You find the synonym. A right. synonym <laughs> is two different words with the same meaning. Right, very good. So remember what a synonym is. So if you, if I'm giving you a German word that you need to find, let's Take a new example, the um, German word barbarisch. Ooh, what could that mean, Mr. Weed? I, well, I think I know. You know? What yes. do you think? Is it barbarian? Yeah. Or barbaric? Barbaric or wild. <laughs> okay. So, go that, back to my German there. Yeah, very good. So, you, I give you that word, you go to Google Translate very likely, and you find something like barbaric or wild. But what I really want for full candy is an SAT word. So what you do is what Mr. We told you. You enter on Google like wild or barbaric synonyms. And then there will pop up a list from different websites with a lot of synonyms, with words that also mean wild, but that are not the word wild. And if you're looking through that list, you find some advanced word, like the word I'm looking for, feral. Ah, good word. So feral would be the SAT word. So also remember feral for your SAT test. And um, to show me that you learned a lot today, I will give you a new German word. And you will try to guess it, do exactly the same what we told you. And then you get candy. <laughs> So the new German word you have to find the SAT word for is Verspotten. Verspotten. Very good. So figure out the SAT word for Verspotten and you get candy. And I will get new candy today. So I will have a lot of new nice candy that you can win. The new That's candy shipment comes in today. Yeah. Good to know. That's pretty awesome, right? That's awesome. Yeah, so use your chance to win candy. Back to you. All right, it's now time for Tillman's European Adventures, Ventures, Ventures, Ventures. Nun ist Zeit für Tillman's europäisches Abenteuer, Teuer, Teuer, Teuer. <laughs> and we have want to answer today two questions. And a little reminder, we will do that next Friday again. And next Friday, I will have new European chocolate on Monday. I will get a delivery with Ooh. new stuff. So everyone starting today who sends in questions for next Friday, 
will be available from European Chocolate. We will draw at the end one name from everyone who sends in a question. He will get a European candy bar, a full candy bar from Europe. So you said great chance. That's All right, awesome. sounds right. fun. So um, we will answer the first two questions. And the first question is, I had that in the carnival story before. Is the drinking age in Germany, the legal drinking age, really 16? What do you think? Is that right? I say yes. Yes, it is. In Germany, the legal drinking age is 16. For most stuff, for, for very um, hard alcohol, it's 18. But for most of the stuff, it's 16. So when I was back in Germany, I was allowed to buy alcohol. It's a little different in the United States. It's 21, so don't try to buy alcohol here with 16. And um, the second question is, in my carnival story, I was also talking about a city named Cologne, or in German, Köln. And I had a question, isn't that that little perfume that you use for um, smelling better? And it is. <laughs> Cologne is a city. Cologne, it's a city, and from that city you, we have that special perfume that is also popular in the United States. So that are your first two questions that I answered. And um, we will not draw, draw someone a winner today. We will draw that on next Friday when I have my new stuff, new awesome candy bars. So send in questions to get a European candy bar. All right, looking forward to it. Yes. <laughs> Thank Thanks, you, Tillman. Student government is still selling the spirit t-shirts. The cost is still $8. Please go see Ms. Polson's classroom room 202 to purchase. And this has been the GOAT and Alex on the WBNC, the white and blue news crew. We'll see, see, see you later. later.